Stark Industries is hijacked in Invincible Iron Man issue 593. Outside the Stark Industry facility in Jersey, Riri puts out a call to Victor, hoping that one of the many email addresses and numbers her Tony AI is trying are real. Their plans are interrupted by the mutant David Bond, who has been sent by the Stark Industries board to take back the company and Riri's armor, by force if need be. David uses his powers to hijack all of the cars in the area, remotely controlling them and sending them after Riri, who doesn't realize that Hijack was trying to get her into the sky, where it puts her right in the sights of the gunships that David is controlling. In Michigan, a newly escaped Chemistro is approached by Victor Von Doom. Chemistro attacks him, but Victor is shielded, asking who orchestrated the prison break from Rikers Island. The villain reveals that the Wrecker was behind it, which surprises Victor. The broom explodes, revealing that the Wrecker and the other villains have been waiting for Victor the entire time. Back in Jersey, Riri is shot at by the gunships tailing her. Riri eventually gets so far away from Hijack and his powers that they fade on the gunships, making them crash into one another and destroy themselves. Back at the facility, Mary Jane approaches David, who thinks he recognizes who MJ is, and moving close to him, Mary Jane is able to mace him, making him lose control over the vehicles and give Give Riri a chance to escape. In Michigan, Victor is jumped by the group of villains, who thanks to their varying powers and abilities, things like Victor's teleportation magic doesn't work. Eventually the team knock off Victor's mask, and in the split second where they stop to confirm that it is indeed Victor underneath the armor, he blasts them with his arc reactor, allowing him time to escape. The villains can't believe that the Victor Von Doom they knew ran away from a fight. They also realize now that Victor is more hype than he was led to believe, and that the villains decide to go after Victor's immense wealth before they kill him. At the Stark Industries boardroom, the board meet with Lynch, who is set on wrestling control of the company away from three women and an artificial intelligence. Amanda and MJ arrive unannounced, and Amanda tells him Tony Stark's body is missing and wonders why his board is isn't looking for him. Instead, they are divvying up his money. Unpacking her electric guitar, Amanda hits Lynch with it, hitting him until he manages to escape when Amanda breaks down crying, telling MJ her son is somewhere and he needs his mother. Invincible Iron Man issue 593, much like this week's Wolverine issue, didn't really do much in terms of forwarding the mystery of the return of Tony Stark. In fact, that mystery person donning the classical Iron Man armor we saw at the end of last issue only actually showed up in one page this issue, instead taking a backseat for Amanda and the others to kinda assault people to get their way. Uh, it kinda looked like that. It didn't really come off very well for them, although we're meant to be rooting for them, but why are they making us root for people who are going to assault people to get their own way? That doesn't really make much sense. The Victor Von Doom stuff, however, was pretty cool, and I'm really interested to see what the villain's plans are for him and what they intend to do uh, in both killing him as well as getting his wealth. It's actually quite interesting and a bit more interesting than the actual main story of this book. I'm going to give this issue a 6 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.